Hey y'all, come on in. It's great to see you. I know you were expecting Brenda to be here, but um, she had a little emergency and uh, she couldn't meet you today. So she gave me a call and asked me to come in and help y'all help y'all out today. I know that time is kind of an issue and we're trying to hurry up. So she didn't want to reschedule and you know, have y'all come back later. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do your fitting today for your bridesmaids dresses uh now now you i know i know you you're emily i don't know you well, my name is lynette michelle it's nice to meet you um okay well i know a few people in nathanville how do you know the bride oh y'all went to school together okay well it's very nice to meet you i'm glad you could come today and uh, we're going to do your fitting. Uh, I understand that this this is sort of a an unconventional wedding theme we have here. <laughs> and I heard all about it. Um, so she's doing a a zombie wedding. Okay, well that's interesting. Yeah, it's her wedding. I guess she can do it however she wants to. Uh, <clears throat> so you're going to be dressed as a zombie, a zombie bridesmaid. Who's doing the, the, um, now I'm taking the fittings for the dresses and understand that y'all are going to start out with all the same dresses and then you're going to have somebody do the effects, like put, you know, blood or, you know, just alter the dresses as far as making them look kind of ragged. Oh, uh, okay. All right. All right. I think I know, I think I know him. Is that Bobby's son? Yeah, I know him. Well, I didn't know he did this kind of thing. Well, that's interesting. All right, wonderful. Well, I'm, I'm not going to be involved in that. But um, I told Brenda that I'll come down and get your uh, get your measurements and everything so they can get started on the dresses. Um, all right, so first thing I'll need you to do is uh, you, you put your purse right over here and just lay, take your jacket off and lay it over the chair. You too. Um, and we'll get started. And it, hopefully it won't take long. I don't want to take up much of your time today. I've uh, got, got my notebook, got my pen. I'm ready to write everything down. And uh, and we'll get you, get you all fixed up. Now, I'm going to write your name down first. Michelle. Okay. Okay, good. Now put that down. Thank you for, okay, you just got on a t-shirt and just like yoga pants. That's perfect. That's great. That makes it much easier to measure. You, you're not going to take off your clothes or anything. Um, so, the first measurement I would like to get is I would like to get under your arms, right under here. All right, I'm going to reach around you. Now just relax, just relax. Hmm. I'm not going to cinch it up too tight, but I do want to get a, as accurate a measurement as possible. I understand that the, um, the main problem is that uh, it's not so much the dress, it's the jacket that you're going to wear with it. Um, yeah, Brenda, uh, Brenda was saying it's kind of tight. It's sort of a tight jacket. So I want to make sure I'm going to have to measure your arms and, you know, I just got this. Let me write this down before I forget. All right. Great. Um, I want to make sure the jacket is not too tight, but I want it to fit, you know, the way the bride wants it to fit. And I want it to be, but I want it to be comfortable. You know, I don't want you to be, you know, hitching and shifting and pulling and tucking the whole time. Wonderful. Now, if you can extend your arm for me, I'm going to get the next measurement I'm going to get is from the top of your shoulder down to about here because it's, um, I'm going to make sure we get this length right so it's not too long, not too short. If it's a little bit too long, I think it'll be okay, but I just want to make sure it's not too short on your arm. So, we stand up straight, and 
And Emily, while we're doing this, if you want, you can have a seat. You don't have to stay in the whole time. You just, you just wait and we're going to do the same thing for you. All right. I'm going to stretch this. I'm going to put it, I'm going to place it on top of your shoulder and bring it down. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. I'll write that down. going to measure your bust. Uh, I'm thinking with the way these dresses are made, you will probably have to wear a strapless bra, but you will have on a bra. All right. Is the bra you're wearing now kind of similar to what you wear with the dress? Because if it has extra padding or anything, I kind of need to know that. I know it's kind of personal, but all right. Fit it up under here. Hmm. Okay. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now, you stand up straight again. We'll look at your torso. Oh, you're kind of short waisted like me. Yeah. You're just all legs. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, sometimes I can wear a petite shirt. The only problem is the sleeves might be a little bit too short, but the waist is fine because I'm so short-waisted. The next measurement I want to take is from about here, just beneath your armpit, down to uh, basically your belly button. I want to see how long you are from here to here. So if you would, just hold your, hold your, you can just do one side, just hold your arm out straight and I'm gonna get right up under here. And I'm gonna measure down to about here. Sorry, I don't mean to tickle you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now we're gonna do your waist. And I'm going to, I'm gonna to have to put my hands on your waist and go down to find your natural curve of your waist and, and it can be very different for different people so don't don't suck in don't suck in and hold your breath or anything I just want you to stand naturally forget. I should have done this earlier. I want to measure from the just basically the edge, the corner of your shoulder to about here. I'm going to get this little measurement here, this little space between where your shoulder slips down and right at the base of your neck. Kind of like, kind of like this. Okay. So just relax your shoulders and I'm going to get that little measurement. doing great. We're making great time. This won't take long at all. And um, a choker. Mm. That's what she told me. I'd like to see it. I bet it's really pretty. She said it's black with like a red, uh, almost like a big ruby pendant attached to it. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to get a good snug measurement around your neck. She's having somebody custom make these. I'm, I'm kind of hurt that she didn't ask me. I mean, I could have done it. All right, let me get under your hair. Right to there. Just making a couple of notes here. All right. 
You're about as tall as I am. Do you have a hard time finding pants? I do. Sometimes when I find them long enough, they don't fit right in the waist. Of course, the older I get, the less that's a problem. <laughs> I'm not quite as skinny as I used to be. Of course, having kids will do that to you, too. I'm going to measure. The first thing I'm going to measure is your inseam. And it doesn't seem like it would be all that important uh, when you're wearing a dress, but I like to get it anyway just in case the seamstress wants to know that. I don't know why she would, but sometimes I do ask for it. So I'm going to come down. Just If you could just sort of stand with your knees straight. Just, you know, don't, don't bend your knees. Just stand straight and I'll come down here. I'll measure your inseam. Just from up, I'm going to have to kind of go from the crotch down to the bottom, down to your ankle. And just hold still. Okay, looks like that's about a 33. And I'm going to get another measurement from your waist all the way down to the bottom, about to your ankle. And it would just be the total length, uh, including the rise like where your jeans would be. So it's basically like I'm going to measure the top of your jeans down to the bottom hem. And just stay, stay still. I'm going to measure the width of your shoulders from here to here. So I want you to stand normally with your shoulders relaxed. Don't, don't bunch them up. And I'm going to I'm going to come around behind you. And I'm going to measure the back to get that, that length uh, shoulder to shoulder. just about done with you. So how do you feel about this whole zombie wedding thing? I mean, it's almost weird to me because um, it seems to me like she would have wanted to do it at Halloween. I mean, Halloween was last night, so I mean, what you know, what is she thinking? I don't mean any disrespect. I really don't. But what is she thinking? Why'd she go on Halloween? Sounds to me like when the date, the date is right before Christmas. I mean, it seems to me like it, it would almost be offensive if she has some older people coming to the wedding. They might not care for that too much. You know, a lot of older people don't care for ha uh, Halloween. You know, you get some of those old older Christian women, they get upset. Uh, but I guess she's going to work all that out herself. I don't know. Uh, okay. So we did the inseam, we did the total length, we did your waist, the waist height, and we did the shoulders from here, and we did the arm and the neck, right? I think that's about it. So I think I got everything that, that Brenda told me to get. Uh, okay, all right, I think you're good. I got it all written down, and I'm going to give it to the, uh, to Brenda to get to the seamstress so she can go ahead and get started. Do you know what color the dress is going to be? Oh, that'd be pretty. Kind of lilac color. That'll look nice. And clash with the blood and the gore and the guts a little bit, but that ain't my wedding. Okay. So you're fine. If you want to, you can have a seat. If you're interested, we have drinks. You can go back there. I got a little kitchen back there, and there's a little refrigerator. If you'd like to get you a, a Coke or something, I got water back there anything you want. So you just make yourself at home and we'll take care of Emily. Okay. Well, it was really nice to meet you, Michelle. And um, I may see you again. I understand Trish is doing the hair, which should be really interesting. I'd like to be here to see that because what she's going to do, 
she's gonna, you know, she's gonna do it up all fancy. And then she's gonna kind of mess it up a little bit. Maybe put some streaks of blood in it. Maybe a little bit of gore. I'd love to see that. So I'm, I'm gonna tell Trish I want to be here to see that when she's working on y'all. Yeah. And it, she's also doing your makeup. That's a good choice. She's really good. She, you know, she loves Halloween, so she gets into all that kind of stuff. I don't know if she's ever done it for a wedding or not. Uh, so, you get, if you're getting it all done at the same time, if at all possible, I would love to be here to see that. Okay, great. Okay, well, you just go ahead and make yourself at home, and I'm going to work with Emily. Okay, it's nice to meet you. You should come in sometime and let me do your nails. Okay, great. Thank you. You just go ahead. Now, Emily, it's your turn. Okay, now just come. Okay, just stand right in front of me. Wonderful. You already took your jacket off. Put your purse down. Good. Hmm. So, what is the deal with this wedding? What is this about? I mean, I don't understand. It seems to me like they would have started planning sooner than this. I, mean, I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to say anything in front of Michelle because I don't know what her relationship is to the bride. But what is she thinking? What in the world is she thinking? First of all, why do you have a zombie wedding right before Christmas? And why is she marrying Brian in the first place? Does she know about him? All he does is run around. Every girl he's ever been with, he's cheated on. What is she? Is she out of her mind? Does she think if they get married that that's going to change? He ain't gonna change. He ain't gonna change. Oh, she's coming back. I need to be quiet. All right. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to you that I did to Michelle. So I'm gonna put you on a separate page. Emily. Yeah, you're a real sport for doing this. I, I, a lot of people wouldn't agree to it. I would. I think it'd be a hoot. <laughs> Be a zombie bridesmaid? That'd be a trip. Okay. Okay. You remember what she did? Alright. Hold your arm out. Hold it out. I'm going to measure from, from your shoulder down to basically your wrist. Mm. Brenda, 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 she had to go to the emergency room with her daughter Tracy this morning, and I think they're still there. We know what she did. Tracy, that girl, she's 15, and she thinks she knows everything. You, you know how they are. You know how teenagers are. Um, she went to Harvey's place up in Nathanville, where you're from. You know Harvey's place. You know it's kind of like I call it the Frankenstein strip mall. It's a, it's not really a strip mall, but it's like a, a big old store that kind of has everything in it. I mean, you can go in there. You can go in there. You can buy new tires. You can get your oil changed. You can get that. She's got at, at Harvey's got some kind of little Vietnamese girl in there now doing that eyebrow threading thing. Uh, every now and then Jake comes in and does tattoos. Um, it's like a convenience store, too. You can buy drinks, some snacks, uh, and they make hot dogs in there, and some chili that I understand if you eat it, you're going to regret it for about a week. Uh, they, but they do, it's like, it's like the Frankenstein store is what I call it, because it's just, it's ridiculous. But anyway, uh, Tracy went in there, apparently, about a week ago with some of her friends. Her mom thought she was at work, but she skipped work, and she went in there. And got her belly button pierced. She figured if she got her belly button pierced, her mama wouldn't know. You know, she saw it. She'd keep a shirt over it. Nobody's going to see it. Well, apparently it got infected. And uh, it swelled up real bad. And it's right, on, it right in, on the top of the belly button. And her little innie turned into an outie. It swelled up so bad. And it turned all red. It had green pus coming out of it. So she had to tell her mama. So first thing this morning, she told, she told Brenda about it. 
And, uh, and Brenda just freaked out. First of all, she got her belly button pierced. And second of all, she let it get that infected without saying something. So she had to take her to the emergency room. They're going to have to lance it and drain it. And I don't know what all. They got to do blood tests, make sure she's not got blood poisoning. Um, <coughs> it's a nightmare. So she couldn't be here. And she called me up. I said, I ain't doing nothing but laundry today. I don't mind. I'll be glad to come in. I've done fittings before for things like this. So I said, that's no problem. I'll come in and help you out. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I do apologize for that. <coughs> so she's she's pretty mad right now at her daughter. I would be too. I mean, hey. Although I have to admit, I did go Frank the Frankenstein store to get my last set of tires. And, and they're pretty good and I got a good deal, so... I can't say too much bad about it. <clears throat> and Jake does good tattoos. I don't know why he's working with Harvey, but I mean, I guess it just was make some extra money. But you're not supposed to tell anybody if you get a tattoo there because he doesn't have, you know, an actual license to do tattoos. But so you just have to kind of keep it hush hush. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to do this. Relax your shoulders. Don't be tense. Just kind of roll them around a little bit. I'm going to measure just like I did with Michelle. I'm going to get you right here to here. So yeah, Tracy's a mess. I, you know, I don't want to say anything bad about her, but she's hanging around with the wrong people. She's gotten in with the a bad crowd and I do worry about her okay just hold your arms up and I'm just I'm gonna measure right through here first just kind of right up under your armpits it's not really a bust measurement oh Emily I'm sorry not you, Michelle I forgot one I also need to measure you right under here right under your bust so I'm gonna need you just hang out and I'm gonna get you when I'm done with Emily okay I'm going to get this top one first. Just keep your arms out. So how was your Halloween? Did you do anything fun? Oh, I did. Me and the girls went out. We went out. I took the little one trick-or-treating. And my older daughter went with me and I dressed up. I did. I dressed up as the corpse bride. You will see it. I got my phone right here. I pull it up for you. Oh, it was a trip. We had a great time. Everybody loved it. Um, but I got a close up of my makeup. Here's my makeup. See, now this is what I did to the face. And I have on a wig. And oh, I went all out. Well, no, I don't want to do the makeup for this wedding. No, I'm not a professional. Um, I'm going to show you another one of the whole thing. This is the whole costume. This is what I had on yesterday. It took forever to get all that makeup off. And uh, this is a dress that I bought at Goodwill. And uh, you see it? And I just, I had to have it adjusted a little bit. Uh, I had uh, I had the seamstress let it out a little bit. It was apparently used to be somebody's prom dress or something. And it was a little tight right where I just measured you. It was a little bit tight, so I had to have it let out. And I even, um, I was the corpse bride, and I had a bone for, you know, she has a, this arm right here is just a bone. It's just bones, no skin. And, uh, her left leg is just bones. I'm trying to see if I have a picture of that. I do. Here it is. And you can see, uh, that I just have bone, like a, I've got some tights that are painted up, like a, like they have, uh, just your bones, and it's black. So I did that for the, the left leg. And I just cut a big old jagged split, a slit in the dress to let it show. Oh, I had a great time. Well, thank you. I enjoyed making it. And I just took that dress and got some purple and blue and black fabric paint. I just took it out, put it on a hanger, hung that sucker up on a tree branch, and just went to town just spraying it all over with just zigzag sprays of fabric paint all over it. I did the same to the veil and the flowers. 
and I had a bouquet. I did this. I just got this bouquet at a yard sale for like two dollars and just sprayed it all up and carried that. And it was great. It worked out great. Let's get back to you. I'm gonna do you bust now. You also are gonna have to wear a strapless bra. Is it kind of like the one you got on? Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to do if that one's got more padding. I'm gonna have to mash down a little bit. I'm gonna have to squeeze it in a little bit. Is the strapless bra padded? Okay, but not as much. So I'm gonna have to squeeze you a little bit. It ain't gonna be like a mammogram or anything, but um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cinch it up a little just to kind of so it won't be too loose. I don't want the dress to be too baggy. I'll be fidgeting with it all day. I'm gonna send you in a little bit. Okay. All right. You about a B cup. Okay. And Michelle, I mean, I hate to ask these questions, but I have to. Are you, you look like you might be about a C. Are you a... You a D. Okay, let me write that down. You'll never know what the seamstress is going to ask, and I want to make sure that they have all the information that they need so they don't have to call you back and, and have to measure something else. Because um, we're not going to have a whole lot of time. I mean, she's got how many dresses to make? Eight. She's got eight bridesmaids. Lord have mercy. Who's paying for all this? I wish I had my daddy to pay for my wedding. I had to pay for my own, me and my husband. And we just went down to the beach and got married. It didn't cost a whole lot. We just had close family there. And, you know, I just had a very simple dress. And my husband just wore, you know, a nice white button-down shirt and some khaki pants. And we didn't go all out or anything. It was pretty cheap. Well, I, mean, I figure, you know what? The only thing that matters is you find somebody that you love and it loves you. And you want to be together forever. And you get that certificate. Now, you don't have to spend a ton of money on all that. I mean, I just think it's a waste of money, personally. But, I mean, you know, everybody makes their own choice. Now, I'm going to measure you right up under here, which I still have to do to you, uh, Michelle. So, you fine. What'd you get? A Coke Zero. I love those things. They're so good. I hate Diet Coke. I know you're not supposed to be drinking that stuff. It's not good for you, but I swear it's good. I try to give up sodas. I can't. I'm too weak. I gave up cigarettes, and you got to give me credit for that. But soda, I just can't kick it. All right. I got this. Got your arm. Got these three. I'll, I'll measure. Let me do your neck before I forget. Oh, the bathroom. You go, honey, you go right down that hall, and there's a door on the left. You have to turn on the light on the inside. The light, just the light switch when you reach in the door is right there. Okay, you go ahead. Anybody taking bets on how long this, this marriage is going to last? Because I won't get in on that. I, I don't give it that long. I give it three months. She's not pregnant, is she? Oh, thank God. I was afraid maybe it was one of those shotgun weddings where they, you know, kind of feel like they have to get married. I mean, all she has to do is go on Facebook and look. I mean, people are always posting stuff on there about him. I know people are talking about her behind her back, so I'm doing it right now. Please don't take it the wrong way. I worry about her. She's a sweet girl. Oh, can you hold your hair up? It's kind of... You have that beautiful, naturally curly hair. I don't want to snag it with the tape. I'm going to get your neck. She's just such a sweetheart. I mean, I hate to see him break her heart. <sighs> Why would he even propose to anybody? He knows he can't stay with one woman. I mean, she, she's lived here her whole life. How does she not know? 
Does she think she can change him into something he's not? Now, my experience has been you can't change people. I mean, they are what they are. Can you hold your arms out for me one more time? What's she doing in there? I'm going to measure from here down to basically right where your belly button is down this side. Well, I feel for her. Now, she ever needs a lawyer. Brenda knows a good one. You know, she married a man like that. No oh, scumbag. I mean, she got a beautiful baby boy out of it. And Tracy, but good God, he's such a jerk. Okay. Don't suck you don't suck in. Don't hold your breath or anything. I'm gonna measure your waist. I want to make sure you're comfortable. Now, trust me, ain't nothing worse than wearing an uncomfortable dress all day. When my brother got married, his wife had us. I won't say anything about it. You don't know them. They don't even live here. But, uh,. She asked me to be bridesmaid. I said, sure, I'd love to. Um, but the thing was, she, so then she sends me this email that's like five pages long of all of the things that I had to do for my for my outfit for the wedding. And then she said, you know, you got to, here's, here's the pattern. Here's the dress that you're going to wear. Here's the fabric you need to get. Here's the thread. She even told me what kind of thread it had to be made with. And I had to pay for everything I had to pay for the pattern and they had to special order it because the fabric store in Nathanville didn't have one they had to special order it they didn't have the fabric they had to special order that and the thread was some kind of weird like a, a silver colored thread from Switzerland or something I had to order that and um, I didn't know anybody at the time this was probably 15 years ago I didn't know anybody that made that did this kind of work that could make a wedding dress so I asked somebody at the fabric store, I said, you know somebody that can make a dress? Um, oh, I know, you got to jiggle the handle. Just jiggle the handle, it'll flush. Okay. So I asked them, I said, you know anybody who makes a dress? So they recommended me this woman. I didn't know her. And uh, so I get in touch with her, and I meet her there at the store, and I give her everything. And she takes my measurements, uh, just like I'm doing now. And I felt good about it. I thought, well, great. You know, I'm going to get it done in plenty of time for the wedding. And then I had to play for, pay for plane tickets to go to the wedding. I'm, I mean, at this point, I'm out of pocket like $600 for this wedding, including the plane tickets and the dress and everything. I'm, I'm a little upset. Um, so she, you know, she says, I'll, I'll give you a call when it's ready. It'll be about two weeks. I said, great. That's fine. I got plenty of time. Well, she calls me up and says, come meet me at the store. So I meet her at the store. And she's in, one, she's in this back room back there. And she's got the dress hanging on the hook on the door. And I didn't, even have to, I didn't even have to take it down. I took one look at it. I said, I can't wear that. That dress is about six sizes smaller than me. It looks like it's about a size up double zero. I can't wear that. I'm going to tell you now. The waist on that dress was about that big around. I kid you not. You'd have to have about an 18 inch waist to wear that dress. I said, I cannot wear that. It is entirely too small. And she said, well, I made it according to your measurements. I said, no, you did not. That Those are not my measurements, honey. That's Twiggy's measurements, not mine. You know, good Lord. So she said, well, well what are we going to do? I don't have any more fabric. I can't make another one. I said, well, I don't want to pay for all that fabric and thread again. And I'm running out of time here. You know, the wedding's in six weeks. I need to get it. And she said, well, I'm try to let it out. I said, okay, we'll try to salvage it and see if we can keep it. And I went on a crash diet for six weeks and lost as much weight as I possibly could. And she let it out as much as she possibly could. But honey, I looked like a stuffed sausage in that dress. She let it out as much as possible. And I starved myself for a month and a half. And finally, I got in it. But I was worried the whole time I had to hold my breath. I was afraid to sit down. I thought it would bust open. I did not enjoy that wedding. I mean, I never told my brother and his wife that. I did not have a good time at all. I was worried all the time about my dress. I thought it was going to rip apart. 
I thought, you know, we're going to sit down at the reception. There's going to be a giant rip sound. Everybody's going to look at me. My dress is just going to disintegrate or explode. I don't know what it's going to do. Misery, misery, misery. So you want to make sure, first of all, that you get good measurements, which means I probably shouldn't be standing here talking to you. I should be doing my job. And make sure you get a good person to make your dress. Because you, you definitely are not going to have time to have another one made. I mean, this, this is it. If you want it ready by December, you won't have to, you get one shot. I mean, every, all y'all bridesmaids get one shot. Now, what are they doing about the groomsmen? Well, that'll be easier. At least they don't have to worry as much. Okay. What was I doing? I was doing your waist. Okay. Stand up straight. Don't suck in. Or did I get it already? No, I got it already. We're good. After that story I just told, you know what? Let me do it again. Let me do it one more time. I want to make sure it fits. Honey, I forgot your hips. I'm sorry. I didn't measure your hips. I need to measure yours too. Okay. Well, that's what I got for the waist. Okay. Good. And we're going to do your inseam. So I'm going to bend down here. Just stand straight. Don't bend your knees. And I'm going to measure your inseam. with Michelle from the top of your waist, just your waist basically down to your ankle. <clears throat> hmm. I can't wait to see these dresses. I think it's going to be a hoot. I want to get your shoulder shoulder to shoulder. I don't believe I've done that yet. Or did I get that? Uh, I don't believe I did. So I'm going to bring this around behind you. And we'll just put it right at your shoulders, right where they drop. This, this, and this, this, and this, and your arm, your waist, inseam, total length. All right, I'm going to do your hips. Now I want you to put your legs together, put your feet together, stand up straight, and look at your hips. And we're just going to get it at the widest point, about two inches below your crotch. Michelle, I need you to come back. I need you to do right under here and your hips. All right. Um, Emily, you can just have a seat and I'll bring Michelle over. And then I think we'll be about done with what I have to do. Do you know if any other bridesmaids have already been measured or if they need to be measured? Okay. There's one that may still need to be done. If you want to, I don't think Brenda's coming back today. I don't think she's going to be here. I think she's uh, either going to spend the rest of the day in the ER or the rest of the day yelling at Tracy. So I don't expect to see her. If you will, before I, before y'all go, I'm going to give y'all my, my cell phone number. And if y'all run into her, if you would just give me, give her my number and uh, whatever time works for her. If she wants to come by the shop one day this week. Or come by my house. That's fine too. I mean, if I'm at home, we'll just, we'll work something out, and uh, and I'll and I'll get her too. Just because I want to make sure everybody gets done, and I don't want Brenda to have to worry about it right now. Because I know the seamstress wants to get this information pretty soon. I'm gonna write my number down. I'm gonna give it to you. And uh, when you see her, just let let her know, okay? 
And yeah, she knows me. We go to church together. Okay, Michelle. Yeah, Emily, you just have a seat. Michelle, I need you to come back. Just two more measurements and we'll be done. Okay. Now, I'm going to get right up under here. So if you would just kind of hold your arms out. You don't have to hold them straight out. Just hold them out a little bit and I'm going to come around under you like that. And we we'll get that right, just basically right under your bra. I think this is going to look adorable when they get done. I'd like to see some pictures, too, of the wedding, the whole party together. That's just going to be a trip. I bet the bride and groom are really going to be decked out. Okay, now I need you to put your feet together and just stand up straight and relax. I'll measure, like, just like I did with Emily. I'm going to basically go down two inches below your crotch, and I'm going to measure your heel. Wonderful. Now I'll make sure that Brenda gets these and she's going to get them to the seamstress. And if you would just have her call me uh, whenever I can do it today if she wants to. I'm gonna be. I'm not going to be at the shop all day. I'm going to go back home. Uh, but if she needs me, I can either come back here or she can come to my house. You know, whatever. I'm just, I'm going to get some stuff done at home. But definitely have her call me and we'll get it done. And uh, so we can get all these dresses ready in time for the wedding. That would be wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to give y'all each a copy of this number. Are either one of y'all, do you know for sure if you're going to see her today or not? Well, if you go and look at flowers together, you both going to see her? I'm just going to give it to you one time and just give this to her. Give this to her. And, um, and just have her call me. And uh, if she can't do it today, uh, tomorrow I'll probably be around in the afternoon. Um, my daughter has cheerleading practice in the morning, so um, about 11.30, so I gotta take her to that. But we'll probably be back about two, and I'll be around after that. I'll be, I'll probably be at home, but I, you know, if she wants to come here, that's fine. So, Michelle, it was so nice to meet you, and I I think you're just going to look beautiful. And Emily, good to see you too. And I will see y'all around, and I do want to be here when y'all get that makeup done. So, but thank you for coming in. I'll let you out. <laughs>